Cars are a tricky thing. You wouldn't think they'd be so complicated, but if the wheels are slightly off, if your perspective is a little off, it just doesn't work. So today we're going to talk about painting cars. You want to remember that cars are symmetrical. So here's the middle and these are parallel lines and these are the exact same angle just opposite of each other. And you want to remember that the body of the car is a little wider than the windshield. And then even a little more wider than that are the tires underneath it. And if you remember that, then your car will look stable. You want the wheels to be where they should go and you want it to be symmetrical. The other important thing is you want the shadow to be underneath the car. The shadow is what anchors it to the ground. And if it's not there, it makes the scene feel a little uneasy if it looks like your cars are gonna float away. So getting that shadow underneath it is important. So that's kind of a straight on car. If you wanna think about a, a, a car that's at more of an angle, the windshield has an angle on that side and then the other side is less of an angle because now the car is turned and there's more of the car on this side. So you want to put a wheel well on the back. Wheel well on the side. And then the front of the car. And what you want is a shadow that's underneath that connects the whole thing. Something I struggled with for a while when I was painting cars in street scenes is if I would get the car at an angle, for some reason, I wouldn't keep these lines flat. So all of these lines, no matter the angle of the car, need to be flat in order for the car to read the right way. So let's paint a little bit. Throw in some green, some on the roof here, windshield here. And then while that edge is wet, let's move back to the car that's just behind it. Again, I'm, I'm just grabbing some random colors here. Colors aren't really important for this exercise. Just let those come together so we have the lightest value on this car. Grab some of this for the windshield. Okay, so our two car shapes are kind of merging, which is good. For the shadow side, let's kind of make this a white car. Go ahead and connect the bottom of these. and the shadow too. Okay, so we have a rough little idea. And we're going to negatively paint the top of this car. So we're using what we're painting in the background to define 
the light on this car. Do something similar for the top of that car. And after we have these lighter values here, I'm going to grab a darker version of that color. Darker version of this green color. That's really dark. We don't need it that dark. little gaps for the headlights and suggest some detail on the car. And I'm going to do the same thing with that car behind it. And I'm going to connect these shapes. So what we're doing is adding a shadow or a light side, a shadow side, same color, different values. And it gives you some depth in your work. So over here, put in some darks for the wheels, the tires, the underside of the bumper. And let's take a darker bit of color for the shadow under the car. Same thing with these cars. Connect the wheels. and anchor it to the ground. If you want to add a little bit of color to your painting, you can grab some red and put in some brake lights. Just to recap, cars are symmetrical. Think about the symmetry when you draw them. You want to make your car stable, so the Windshield is about this size, the body of the car is a little bigger, and the wheels should be slightly wider. So if you remember those proportions, then your cars will read a lot better. So I hope that these tips are helpful. I hope that they will improve the way that you think about drawing and painting cars. One more thing I wanted to mention before I go is, if you haven't checked out my eight tips to avoid overworking your painting video, follow the link below. If you're on Instagram, you can go find it in my bio. I've gotten great feedback on this video. It seems to be helping a lot of people, and it's an issue that I had to work through quite a bit when I was first learning how to paint. So take a look at that, and I'll see you next time.